Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Open Gov TV. I've got David Meredith, the CEO of Everbridge, and we're going to be talking about critical event management and the role that Everbridge plays in this space. Great to have you, David. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on the show today. Absolutely. David, let me just start off. Unfortunately, the world got hit with this pandemic, you know, the tail end of last year, the early part of this year. And like everybody knows, it began on the Eastern Hemisphere and it's moved itself across to the West. Whereas Everbridge's story is moving the exact opposite direction. Now, you know, you got, you got started off in the West, you come into the East. Is this by design, coincidence? What's the game plan here from your perspective? Well, you have to go back to the beginning. So Everbridge was originally founded after 9-11. And our founders saw that uh, when people were going back into the second tower, there wasn't an effective way to communicate with people in the middle of a crisis or a critical event. So the company originally focused on critical communications and became the leader in that space. Then in 2016, we had a very successful initial public offering on the NASDAQ market and broadened our set of capabilities to the full uh, software as a service platform suite that we call critical event management or CEM. So critical event management is all about on the one hand, things that you care about. So your people and for a government that would be citizens for a company could be employees or customers, your assets, operations, supply chain, brand and reputation. So those are all the things that you care about, whether you're a hospital, a, uh, a corporation, or a government, a federal, state, local government. Since you guys have been deploying this, you said 9-11 was you know, the, uh, the birth of this. Now, you know, it's almost been 20 years. So what can the government in the East learn from what governments in the West have gone through? Yeah, it's a great question. So there have been a lot of learnings over the years and the ability we have to get best practices from all over the world and then apply them other places is really valuable for our customers. So if you look at sort of starting out, it's really critical to have situational awareness. So to that end, we provide uh, 22,000 uh, data feeds in terms of pretty much every piece of information you could possibly imagine. You see behind me our, our visual command center, which is our single pane of glass that allows you to aggregate and curate all that data to see in real time what's happening and what do you need to respond to. We're able to map all of the assets of a company, including through the supply chain, through their partners um, for a country, for a state, for a city. And then when you, you can map what's happening and how does that affect things that I care about. Once you see that something's happening, uh, we've basically done digital transformation for the crisis management process. So um, we have pre-designed protocols and workflows that our system in a digital way can manage and orchestrate across a variety of different stakeholders. Um, so we have a whole crisis management uh, suite of capabilities that'll, that manages all that for a government or for a company or for a healthcare organization. Uh, and then we have over 100 different communication modalities. So we can orchestrate and communicate to everybody and get messages to them in real time.